Hello! Welcome back, fellow snoozers. This is Nigel Danger Peril. Yes, Danger is my middle name. I'm the research assistant for Dr. August Sunburn, the snoozological coordinator of the Snoozology Center at Walking Dog University. Whenever there is threat to life and limb at snoozological study, Dr. Sunburn sends me. On a side note, it may be time to consider new avenues of research. Today's battle is the formidable Black Cayman versus the indomitable anaconda. Shall we begin? The Black Cayman Black Caymans live pretty much in any swamp from Central America to North South America, including the Amazon River Basin of Brazil, where 80% of their population resides. These crocodilians are massive. Adult males can be 14 feet long and weigh as much as 880 pounds. Estimations of the Black Cayman's bite force vary greatly though they are often compared in size, weight, and general physiology to American alligators, who possess a bite force of around 2,125 pounds per square inch. It's really their bite strength that makes these reptiles so deadly. That and their very sharp, nearly 3-inch long teeth, black caimans can reach a speed of nearly 30 miles an hour in the water and nearly 10 miles an hour on land. While the black caiman's diet consists mostly of fish, they also have the bite force to crush a turtle's shell. They are opportunistic ambush predators who will eat birds, non-poisonous snakes such as anacondas, and even large mammals such as buffalo. Basically, these are apex predators who will eat anything that will fit in their mouths. They have plate-like scales that leave adults nearly invulnerable to other predators. The Giant Anaconda Anaconda are semi-aquatic snakes found in South America, east of the Andes Mountains. While their true size is difficult to determine, the largest verified anaconda was measured at 30 feet and estimated to weigh 550 pounds. At their fastest, giant anacondas can move at about 5 miles an hour over land and maintain a steady pace of about 10 miles an hour in water. Anaconda are ambush predators who utilize their camouflage. They lurk in shallow waters along the edge of streams and rivers and strike their prey as they come to drink. They strike quickly over short distances, restraining their prey with their sharp, curved teeth, then employing their constrictive killing technique. It was long believed that this constriction simply suffocated their prey, but it has been learned that what actually happens is that the intense constriction simply blocks blood from getting to the brain, and most prey animals die rather quickly. Anacondas are known to eat white-tailed deer weighing up to 150 pounds. They'll also eat wild pigs, capybara, and even the occasional jaguar. They also have been known to eat juvenile crocodiles. After they've killed their prey, they then unhinge their jaws and swallow the misfortunate animal whole. On a side note, I may have to inform Dr. Sunburn that I'm unavailable for this year's Amazonian research. The Fight Lying in wait, an anaconda sights a juicy wild boar approaching the water's edge. Little does it know, behind it, the larger, deadlier black caiman lays in wait as well. The wild boar approaches, the anaconda coils, the black caiman silently draws nearer. Just as the anaconda springs and strikes the boar, the black caiman strikes as well. As the anaconda begins to constrict the boar, the black caiman sinks its formidable jaws and sharp teeth into its long, muscular body. The anaconda is now fighting battles on two fronts. Releasing the wild boar, the anaconda turns to attack the black caiman, but alas, it's too late. The much heavier and much better armored black caiman drags the misfortunate giant anaconda to the depths of the river. In a relatively short time, the giant anaconda drowns. Perhaps this is justice for all the juvenile black caimans this anaconda had eaten. The black caiman then makes short work of the anaconda, biting it into large chunks that it swallows whole. Snoozers, we have a winner! The wild boar! <laughs> just, just kidding. The deadly black caiman claims victory today over the tenacious giant anaconda. Whew, well, snoozers, while it is impressively formidable, the giant anaconda is really no match for the larger, faster, more deadly black caiman. Perhaps if the black caiman was a juvenile, or if the giant anaconda was an exceptionally large example of the species, things may have turned out differently. But if you assume that this battle is between two full-grown, average-sized adults, then this battle has to go to the Black Cayman. While not always the case, in this instance, mass and strength prevail. 
Did you predict a different outcome? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Be sure to patiently wait to strike that like button and don't forget to clamp down on subscribe to devour more epic battles. This is Nigel D. Peril, bidding you safe travels. Until next time, snoozers.